Hi, this is Philip Kyokyo, and I'm going to show you how to work the Insignia 1080p camera. And uh, it's a pretty nice little camera, basically. I've got it on a tripod, and it's already been charged up, and I'll show you how to do all that. But to start the camera, you pull this side panel up, and uh, it's ready to go. And the number's at the top, 10548 says I have an hour and five minutes and 46 seconds left to shoot. In order to shoot, the simple thing you do is press the record button and you're off shooting. Alright, and you hit the record button again and you can see the little red light is flashing and that means you're recording. To stop recording, you just push the button. Now if you notice, there's a uh, little um, flower over here. And on the side of the camera, that's if I was doing macro, on the side up here is where I can do regular. Now, it's going to try and focus uh, further back. And there's a little zoom here. You can move this back or closer but you can see it's not in focus now if I wanted to record I just hit that and there's my recording and of course I can go back and forth up and down this swivels so you can uh, stand in front of the camera and look at what you're recording and to stop you hit that now if you want to review what you're doing you hit this, what they call the exit key, it's the second one down. You hit that, and then you hit your play button again, and you can see it's ready to go. To stop it, push the record button. Okay. To get back to the main picture again, hit the exit key and it takes you back out to your choice of either movie or picture. And we're in picture again. We have one minute and five seconds. If you want to turn the light on, you hit this button here to the right and it says turn light on and now you can see there's a light up against the screen. I'll turn this towards the camera and you can see oh there's the light. To turn the light off you move that little button there to the right. Okay that's all there is to it. Um, if you want to run it off of power you open this up. Be careful it's not real hard and then your AC is right here and that just plugs in right at the bottom here and if the camera is turned off then you can charge up the camera if the camera is on it'll just stay on all day long and you can continue to record things so I'm gonna undo that I don't think you need to worry about the other buttons but this is for HDML and uh, this is for uh, audio-visual type things. If you want to go to the menus, they, you push this center button in and you go back and forth to where there's tools. Um, here's, we're in the 1080 format, 1080p. I'd leave stabilization off. Motion detection is a interesting uh, tool for turning the camera on whenever there's motion back up to the center there's scene balance for adjusting color if you want to do that you press the button in and you can adjust it for backlight night or just the face I'm going to use auto color balance if you want to leave it on auto it'll do the best it can or for daylight, fluorescent is a different color, tungsten is a different color. I'd leave it on auto. For, and, uh, 
forgot to put the button. On tools, you have sounds, leave those on. Timestamps already been done. Set date and time if you want to turn that on to the picture, you could. Erase card if you want to erase everything you've done. Keep going down, you can have it in English. Text help allows you to see what the tools are in the screen. It'll open it up. Simple mode we've turned off so we can see all of these functions here. The TV format is for the United States, NTSC, and we're recording in the MOV. You could pick a AVI, but we want it in MOV. If you go to factory seat preset, everything will be changed. MOV. To get out of the menu, you just hit the exit bar, and we're back where we were ready to go. And uh, if we wanted to record, again, hit the record button and we're off recording. And then we could stop. There is a little zoom here. It's not really a good zoom. It's just more for finding a spot and then shooting. I would very highly suggest you use a uh, tripod. Now, to turn it off, just close it down and I'll show you how to change the card at the bottom. So I'm going to take it off the tripod and at the bottom you'll see that there's a little slot here and if you just take your thumbnail or finger and just push it in and it'll just pop right out. There it comes. See how it pops out? And that's where everything is stored on. It came with a little, there's a little case, you put that in and send it off for to me for editing or, or however you're going to do it. When you get a new one, um, the easiest way to remember is turn your camera so it's face up, the labels face up, you push the uh, card in and you just seats in there until it snaps. Snaps in. Done. You're ready to record. You open the camera up and hit the left button and we're recording as soon as the light turns on. So it's kind of fun. Nice little camera. Uh, you can also turn it off by this button right here. And it's done. When you're done, put it back.